Good morning, everybody. Mike Vaki, PrincetonTrader.com, here with your Thursday market webcast. All right, I'll spend a little bit of time on uh, the daily chart, a little bit of time in the hourly chart. This isn't going to be a super long webcast. There's not a ton to talk about. We are in the compression consolidation mode that I figured we would be in at some point this week. Well, with the exception of a little bit of opportunity Monday Monday night into Tuesday morning to get us up into the shelf that we're on, this is exactly what we're in. So they drove it up, man, back here, we talked about uh, the 100 day, we talked about um, the 50 trying to hold, the 20 day simple moving average, the middle Bollinger Band trying to hold, having a breakup over the top on, uh, on Jobs Friday, last Friday. And then, you know, you had more progress Monday, but then Tuesday, Wednesday into today, it's just kind of leveling off. And what that looks like on an hourly chart, this is an hourly chart, not a two minute chart, not a five minute chart. This is an hourly chart and you can see how small these, these candles are. These candles represent hours and hour of price action. So we had a little bit before the open. This is the open. Uh, 9 into 10 o'clock hour yesterday and that was a nice little move but really that was the only move yesterday we took advantage of that and then basically that was the day and the rest of it was just kind of spent a little false start here a little false false start here but mostly just hugging that hourly mid band the hourly mid band is 5206.88 right now we are printing 5205 half so you know they've taken it down a bit they lifted it up but this is you know you're talking about a Globex range of, of about 18 handles in the middle of the night. So where does that leave us? Okay. Here's the deal. It's like I tell you every time we have these compression tapes. It's not sustainable. Okay. The only way you can really hurt yourself in one of these is by doing a lot of anticipating and a lot of assuming. Okay. So what I mean by that is, you know, you... You're, you're anticipating whether it's going to be a breakout or a breakdown. You're over trading in order to make sure that, that that is going to happen. When what you really need to understand is you don't have to guess when it's going to end. You don't have to guess where it's going to go. What you need to do is be vigilant, pick your spots, and understand. Understand completely that when it does expand from this compression, there's going to be plenty of time and plenty of handles to be involved with, whether it's to the upside or the downside, as a trader of the index, it's gonna move. It will move. It'll move farther um, and it will last longer than anybody expects when they're getting banged around, um, you know, slamming their shoulders into either side of a very small phone booth, which is what is happening right now. Don't overtrade, protect your mental capital protect your physical capital, understand that the Bollinger Bands here are basically flatlined. Not sustainable. Not sustainable. We've seen this before. Flatline. Expansion. Compression, expansion, compression, expansion. Compression. It's going to expand. Which way? I don't know. I don't know. That's the part everybody gets all hooked up on. Just understand that they will. And if you're somebody that's putting, you know, putting putting money to work in, you know, in, in underlying things on the index, just understand that when that starts to go, then you can put your money to work. You've got time, and there'll be room to make it happen. And and you know, inversely to the short side, and you know, understand that if it breaks to the bottom, breaks down, and starts to head lower, that you have plenty of time to buy said dip. For me, there's a couple things that are staring at me on this chart, and they've been staring at it all week, and the chart doesn't seem to care. And that's fine, because it's all about price. You got weekly pivot and monthly pivot down here, and they're jammed up with the, the daily mid-band, the 20-day the simple moving average. It's, it is nothing beyond something for people that look at this stuff to get all geeked out about if we were to test it and really try to figure out you know, where, whether we were ultimately buy dips or sell rallies. That does not mean that price has any intention of going there. Right now, all price wants to do is just hover above the 50-day. Now, speaking of the 50-day, 
if they continue to confirm the 50 day as support, there's nothing left for them to do except, you know, really head up to 52.50 to 52.67. That's really all there is. So um, just be patient out there. Be patient. The compression will not last. You don't have to guess which way it's going to go. You don't have to overtrade it before it's ready to go. And when it does go, you'll have plenty of time and plenty of handles to take advantage of to the upside and the downside. All right. Everybody have a fantastic day. Be safe, be healthy, take care, trade them well. I'll talk to you tomorrow. Follow us over on Twitter, Instagram, and Snapchat, at Princeton Trader. Check us out on Facebook and join us for a free trial at www.princetontrader.com. Trade them well.